Well, a legal expert is calling for tough action against health professionals who over-prescribe powerful drugs to elderly Australians without proper consent. That follows our story two weeks ago, which revealed that thousands of people may be dying prematurely each year from the misuse of some antipsychotic drugs. Late Lion received scores of emails and phone calls after that story. And this week, the Minister for Aged Care, Mark Butler, held a special roundtable discussion on how to reduce the widespread over-prescription of drugs. Now one of Australia's leading experts in law for the elderly has told Lightline he believes some health professionals could face legal action and even prison. Margot O'Neill has this exclusive report. When Michelle found her mother in what she believed to be a drug-induced coma in a New South Wales nursing home last year, she filmed her mother's condition and she called Crime Stoppers. I knew that she was dying. I had asked my friend, look, my mum's been overdosed with, with morphine, with drugs, and I need someone to be held accountable, and I, I want to get an autopsy, I want to have a post-mortem, and I want it to be a coronial inquest. How do I go about that? She said, ring Crime Stoppers. For legal reasons, we're only using her first name. But Michelle, a registered nurse, was especially distressed because as her mother's medical guardian, she'd forbidden the use of two dangerous drugs on her 84-year-old mother the evening before. The drugs were the antipsychotic haloperidol, branded as Serenace, which had already caused severe immobilising side effects and injectable morphine. I told the nurse that we had the serenade ceased because of the side effects and she said, why did you do that? And then I explained the side effects of what my mother was experiencing. And then after I finished, she said, well, I'm going to put a cannula in her stomach and I will be giving her 10 milligrams of subcutaneous morphine for hourly. Michelle, who's qualified to prescribe morphine, believes such a dose could be terminal. She had consented to one nightly dose of oral morphine, but not a morphine injection. Injectable is a potent form of uh, morphine that has a totally different um, uh, action and uh, it's metabolised in a different way. I denied her permission for either of those drugs to be given. Medical records obtained by Michelle under Freedom of Information indicate that both serenades and injectable morphine were given that evening, five milligrams each, along with sleeping pills. Medical experts have told Lateline this is a dangerous combination. The next day, Michelle found her mother in a coma. I should have stayed that night, rung the doctor myself, or written in the notes myself uh, that she, my mother was not to get these drugs. Michelle's mother had dementia and some other chronic conditions, but her daughter denies she was in acute pain warranting the morphine injection. Her mother never regained consciousness. She died three days later. Yeah, and I thought going in every day I'd be able to protect my mother. It wasn't enough. Yeah. Yeah. Rodney Lewis has written Australia's only textbook on laws for the elderly. He says the case raises issues faced by many families. Do they understand the often powerful drugs being prescribed to their loved ones? In fact, Rodney Lewis says if there's no informed consent and there's no imminent threat of harm, nursing home staff may be acting unlawfully. Those uh, antipsychotics are uh, behaviour altering. They, uh, they involve chemical restraint in one form or another. So there is no question that proper consent must be sought before uh, administration. Without informed consent, um, there's, uh, there are serious legal consequences. And uh, that can result, for example, in a breach of the Guardianship Act, which carries a term of imprisonment. A survey of three nursing homes six years ago found there was informed consent for only 13% of residents prescribed regular psychiatric drugs. I think that um, the, the law about restraint, for example, just one example, but a serious one, is, is breached every day in a dozen places just in this, in this 
city alone. The stakes are high. Two weeks ago, a leading medical expert warned on Lakeline that up to 6,000 elderly Australians could be dying 6 to 12 months prematurely each year because of widespread misuse of antipsychotic drugs. There are probably thousands of deaths where you could attribute the death to the use of these medications. Federal Aged Care Minister Mark Butler acknowledged the problem while undertaking to investigate the number of deaths. There is very significant use of antipsychotic medication essentially for behaviour management rather than psychotic disorders. Catalyzed by the late line story last week. This week Mark Butler held a round table discussion in Canberra about how to reduce the rate of overprescription. But Rodney Lewis believes nothing much will change until some health professionals are sued. In this case, the aged care system is well overdue for a good dose of litigation. It's like a tomb person. Michelle believes the drugs were given to her mother as a form of restraint because she called out a lot, a common symptom of dementia. The case is now under consideration by the New South Wales coroner. This case highlights everything within the system that isn't working. From the, the prescription to the care to the, the doctor's input, the nurses, uh, the family input, the guardianship issue. None of it's been addressed adequately. Margot O'Neill, Lateline.